All right, let's teach you a quick guide on how to install Fallout 4 Script Extender. This is going to be very short, but I will go thorough with it. So the first reason, why do you need a Script Extender? Really quickly, it just makes you be able to do extra functions in the game. It just makes modding so much easier and much better mods require Script Extenders to begin with. So the first thing you wanna do is go over to Steam or whatever you have your Fallout4.exe on. Go to Steam. The easiest way to do this on Steam is to go to Manage, Browse Local Files, then you wanna scroll down until you see fallout4.exe not the launcher but just fallout4.exe left click it once and then right click and then hit show more options and hit properties then you want to go down to details and under file version and product version they should tell you exactly what version of fallout 4 you're running next gen it will be i believe 9 1.10.900 or uh, 190 i believe so that's what we're going to do now is go over to the website go into your google or whatever your search engine you use and just type in fallout for script extender like this and then it'll be under silverlock.org yeah .10 984 so there is these different versions there's the vr one this is old gen this is what a lot of people run on it's what i personally run on and then this is the new gen and you simply want to go on here i have the old version so i'm going to hit seven zip archive you could do nexus as well um i'm going to do this nexus you would hit manual download like you would go into nexus and then you would hit manual download for you guys so once you have the file itself you want to go into the download history show and folder and then you want to, I have 7-zip, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's really easy to install, you just run it on a computer. If you're running Windows 11 and you have 7-zip installed, you go to show more options, 7-zip, extract to whatever it is, like such, and then it will create its own folder. You click on it and you put all of this, you copy it into your folder with Fallout 4, and then you would hit paste into the directory. And there you go, you would have the script extender installed. Now, what you're going to need to do afterwards is you're, wanna, you're going to want to select the F4SE loader.exe and then that's how you'll run it through. The way I do it is that I made a shortcut on my PC. If you launch Fallout 4 normally, it will not load the script extender. So what I've done is I have done the F4SE loader and then I go to show more options, send to desktop. You can change, I renamed, see this is this is what my current one looks like. I put the app icon on it so it just looks like normal Fallout 4. And whenever you launch it, it will have this little control panel prompt and then it launches and there you go. That's how the script extenders installed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy gaming.